we have our skeleton with our propeller, our motor, and our batteries. Now we need to make it float. Lots of options. I grab this plastic ketchup bottle. It's right about the right size, but I'm not sure how stable it would be. Again, we've got some styrofoam ideas we could try. But I'm going to go with two pop bottles. Now I've already dropped a little bit of glue on them to get them stuck together. And now I'm going to put some more hot glue on them. Actually, I'm going to put hot glue on here so I can just get it in place. And then, and then I will duct tape it together. Sometimes carpenters just want to pin something together. So they'll either use a, a brad nailer or maybe a, uh, clamps to hold things. So I get these down pretty straight, even forward. And then I will duct tape. I would found this small duct tape that I'm liking. Um, Sometimes the big duct tape, i got to rip it down the middle in half anyways. But it all depends on cost. This was hard, kind of hard to find. It's called duckling. It's actually by duct tape. Um, but they're ducklings. So then I'm going to affix it. I might want to put one in the middle too. Also, just got to come under my propeller blade. Um, something I skipped, I don't know why I keep skipping it, is they actually recommend cutting these a little bit shorter after you get them all glued on. But mine's not hitting anything and that'd be why I would want to cut it shorter. So you'll have to see that. If it hits, you gotta shorten it up somehow. And then we'll go up here. All right, so I got a boat. It should float. I don't have any water nearby to go test it. Let's turn it on. It's blowing. So it's blowing wind that way, so that means it will drive this direction. Again, how would I want to, how would I flip that around? If I want to go flip that around, what do the red and the black do? Now here's the other thing. It can't cure anything right now. So I need to make something for it to carry cargo. So, off camera, I just built this little um, cardboard box, taped it together as a simple carry thing. Think about, you know, like margarine tubs that might work. Now, i got to mount this here somewhere, but there's no way to mount it. So, I cut some strips, some of the black plastic strips, and I stuck some short dowel rods in them. And now I'm going to stick them in here. Now this is the hard part about doing things after the fact. I've got duct tape in the way there that I have to, I don't feel like taking off. So I'm going to kind of try and sneak these in here and then press them on. I already put them in and got them started, the dot rod started. I wouldn't want to try and push it through both of those here. Alrighty, get this loose a little bit. Come through here. Ooh, don't mess up my duct tape. This is why you want to plan things out all the way. Trying to do things after the fact is always difficult. But we got it. And I should probably put a couple more pieces in again, plan things out. Let's see if I can get a couple of other pieces in here. If I can do this, eh, it's not going to be really easy. Yep, we got to plan things out much better. All right, we'll live with that. And I want to drop some glue on here, and then I will put my cargo container. Now be careful not to get in the way of the switch. So there is my boat with being able to carry cargo.
Now, uh, I, don't, I don't know if that's going to tip it forward. But I'd be better off putting cargo on the sides. This is all just an experiment. So you're just trying stuff. Will this go straight, even? Um, do I need to have these bent at an angle and how much angle? Do I need to put a rudder in here or some kind of guide to make this go straighter? It is all about questions. The questions you got to ask and try stuff. But it does it does move. It wiggles around because it's not perfectly centered, so it's a little, vibrating a little bit off. Yeah, if the propellers aren't exactly the same size, same angle, they're going to cause a vibration. Um, so working on that. Again, work on different ideas for propellers, different shapes, different materials. Again, I took part of a pop bottle and thought I might try to you know, work with the curves aspect of it. All sorts of things to try and play with. So have fun with it.